If you're like me, your TikTok is probably filled with videos of Japan thrift hauls, everything I thrifted in Asia, and everybody's getting the most delicious, juicy, like designer vintage stuff. And you're probably wondering, what's the tea? Is that realistic? Well, I went. I went to Japan, I went to Thailand, I went to Vietnam. I thrifted until my skin fell off of my bones. And these are the results. <music> begin. First top is this little halter plaid top with bedazzles at the top and across the bottom. This is 100% something that I would have bought from Justice when I was like mm, 8 to 10 years old. When I saw it, I was like, mm, yeah, just for the little girl in me who would have loved this, I had to buy it. It's so convenient that this type of style is back again when I'm this age because now I can like fully dress to the extent that I was like, dying for. Now, it's my time to shine. This is cute. Price? Overpriced. This was so unbelievably overpriced. I could find this. Probably it would take me like an hour in a thrift store in the US to find this and it would be like five bucks. That is not what I paid for this. But Japan was the first country that we went to and so I was a little bit too eager to really thrift and shop. I'm gonna say one thing. All of those TikToks that you see, girls are getting the vintage Louis bags and the Miu Miu and all this stuff and they're saying it's so much cheaper. It is cheaper, I guess, but if you're not somebody who would normally on a day-to-day -day spend $800 plus on a bag or a purse or a piece of clothing, you're probably not gonna wanna spend like $600 either. And that's the kind of discount. Like when they say it's so much cheaper, it's like a $2,500 purse is like $1,800 which is a steal, but only if you already shop in that price range. And I don't. So I would say keep that in mind. If Japan or Asia is somewhere that you wanna go and thrifting is on your list because of those TikToks, just keep it in mind. Next, oh my gosh, it looks so wrinkled and gross. I'm so sorry. Maybe I should have ironed everything before. This is probably one of my favorite things I got. Like the perfect fit, has like a little bit of a wide neck, three quarter sleeves, has a little bit of a dazzling at the bottom, jersey number on the sleeve, a little jersey number on the back, adorable. Once again, something I would have worn when I was probably like 10. I'm so excited about this. Next top, this is just a basic. It kind of reminded me of something Brandy has, their little off the shoulder ones, but it's so much better quality. It's just thicker, it's like double lined. You can just tell kind of like from the structure of it that it just, it fits so well. The way that the shoulders come up is so flattering. I love it, love it, love it. I grabbed this honestly on the way out of one of the stores that we were leaving from because it was one of our last days and I just had to spend the rest of my cash and I saw this and I was like oh, okay good basic like I was having trouble finding other stuff I saw this and I was like okay I'll just scrap this like I need to get rid of this cash honestly I am really glad that I got it I got home and I low-key wish I would have gotten it in other colors so this was a good purchase next this little tank top wow I really I'm looking actually right now literally almost everything that I got is yellow and blue Every single top besides two has the same color. Wow, okay, gonna be a blue summer, I guess. I didn't really intend for that to happen. Why actually did that happen? That's crazy. Okay, well, this tank top has this little ruffling around the thing. It was from this brand called Libe. Looks like this. Also, probably maybe would have worn it when I was 10. It also is the same kind of like thicker quality. It just feels well made. Like if you bought this shirt from Urban Outfitters, it would be the most thinnest, worst quality shirt ever. And it would be $65. Next, this knit wrap top. And then it also has like open back which is so cute. It kind of has like a little bit of a wider shoulder. It wraps in the front. I liked it because it was a little bit dressier. I feel like I could dress this up a little bit. Good summer color. I don't know. It just, something about it caught my eye. Next. This is also from that same brand I was talking about earlier, Libe. The shirt was on sale for super cheap, I guess, because it's like a long sleeve and it's really hot. It's summer. I don't know. This too is so thick. Even though it's wrinkled, like literally ignore the wrinkles. I'm so sorry. It has so much structure. When you wear it, it just just looks nice like it looks like it's a good quality because it is you know the little label is so cute it has like red bedazzled so pretty it's oversized but it's like a cropped oversized so it fits perfectly on your waist but it's still big at the same time so good even though it's gonna be well before i can wear this i was like this is a good one and I want to keep this. This was a crazy find. I literally bought so much stuff through the eyes and mind of my little self. It's crazy. This Hollister top? What? Like this is so adorable. I probably owned this when I was seven. It's just so summery. The little sleeves 
jeans with the collar. Oh my gosh. It says Hollister at the bottom. Like, come on. Come on. I just, this is so... So cutie. So, so cutie. I really should have just kept all my clothing from a kid because clearly I would have still been wearing it. Oh my gosh, I am actually so upset at how wrinkled these are. Ooh, wow, this one's bad. It's like this, kind of like a button-up material. It has a zipper in the middle and then a bunch of like ruching that cinches your waist in a very like subtle way. The zipper splits off right here. It just shapes you very well. I love the fit. They also had it in black and white and I wish that I had gotten all of the colors, but oh well. So that's it for tops. Let's do pants. First for pants, I got this little mini denim skirt. It fit perfectly. I love the little buttons here, the buttons in the back. With medium wash. Last summer, I had like a parasite take over my body and I sold all of my denim skirts. I don't know why. And so this summer I went to go pull out my denim skirts and I was like, oh my God, where are they? Oh, gone, sold. So I had to re-up. I think I just had too many last summer and that's why I got overwhelmed and I sold them all because it was hard to pick, therefore I never wore them. But now I just have one solid denim mini skirt and it's perfect. Next, these Adidas shorts. It's so funny because I grew up playing soccer and I had these in every variation you could think of and now they are trendy and it's like cute to wear them. I used to like go to the greatest lengths to try and make these look cute when I would have to wear them with my uniforms. I would roll them like 50 million times until my butt cheeks were literally hanging out of the bottom because I just thought that they were so boyish and I hated how I looked in them. But now I literally wear them like this. Last pair of pants. I think they're just regular capris, but the way that they fit on me, they're like jorts. I got a bigger size so that I could wear them low waisted. They're just the most perfect washed green, like, so good. They're definitely like a hiking short. I can tell because the brand looks like this and says born in the mountains, but they just fit amazing. I love them. They add such a, such a vibe to anything you put them with. I think this green goes with so many colors too. Oh yeah, they're just really cute. Capri or Jort, either one. These are good. Last, let's do sets slash dresses. Dress number one. I had to size up in this because this is the only size that they had, but it still fits good. I can like alter it. Anyways, it's like this halter dress, open back, has these ruffling at the bottom, a little tie. It almost looks like you're wearing a mini skirt with a top. And it has shorts underneath. I love that, love that, love that. Next is a set. It is so wrinkly, oh my God. It's just a white linen set. These are the shorts. This is the top, basic but so much cheaper and probably better quality than something like Zara. Last dress, which is also more of a cover-up, very Y2K. It drapes at the bottom, it's Ed Hardy. But I realized after I bought it, it's actually not Ed Hardy. It's an Ed Hardy dupe, because it doesn't say Ed Hardy. Like this font says something else. I don't know what it says. And then the back is like a racer back and it. I love these little metal enclosures around the strap. That kind of makes the dress. I don't think I would have bought it. Without that, it works. It's the perfect length for a cover-up. Next, let's do accessories. These glasses, they're red. They kind of like a cherry tint. Next, we got these little flower hair clips. Next, I got this hat, which I haven't worn yet. Just like a cute little, you know? I don't know. I Like I said, I haven't worn it yet and I don't even know, maybe that's not even the right way to wear it. This is one of those things that has to like marinate in the closet for a little bit and then one day it'll have the perfect use. Next, this is a lunchbox. I just had to get it. It's adorable. This, I needed a beach bag, so I got this little, uh, what is this material called? You can hear it better than I can describe it. Also from the same store, me and Esther got these matching little sun hats. The flaps have this like wire rim around it, so you can fold them up, fold them down. So cute. Last of the accessories is this makeup bag. It's like a white leather and it has this blue flowery print. Okay, last part. This is probably the most exciting part for me. The clothes were a little disappointing. I thought that I was gonna come back with so much more. I've just been like hesitant in general with my summer shopping this year. I'm like non-committal. Like I see a shirt and I'm like, it's cute, but I don't know if I would wear it more than three times. But these, the knickknacks, what I'm about to show you, all of the little trinkets. Gets. That's what I really balled on. First, we got these pink elephant stuffed animals and we were on opposite sides of the store. I picked this one up. I looked at Esther and she had one in her hand and we both were like, look, and it was the same one. And we were like, okay, we have to get it. Next from Japan, of course, I had to get a matcha bowl. It's so cute. Pink, a little rim. For postcards, I got this cherry blossom one from Japan. This one from Vietnam. I got that same one in a different style. And then also from Japan, a little tiger one. 
Also, the same texture as those postcards, they had a little notebook. Oh, it's bamboo. That's what it says on the back of the notebook. It says handmade bamboo. I also got a regular notebook. I love the little drawing. Next, these are so adorable. These little kittens. Oh, little like porcelain and kittens. <laughs> Next, I got this little jewelry tin slash, I don't really know exactly what I'm gonna put in it yet. Opens up like this. I love getting things like this because I picture myself like passing them down to like my grandchildren. It just seems like one of those things that your grandma has like had and kept around forever. Next, also from Vietnam is a little jewelry holder, hand painted, so cute. I can put my necklaces, bracelets, earrings. Then I got this little wallet. There's like a little magnet closure. The sun is like kind of messing it up, but it has like a little bit of a sheen. It's adorable. Of course, I brought back different little things to put in my scrapbook. I brought some train tickets, some receipts. What is this? Yeah, more receipts, a little photo booth, pictures. I got this ring, It was so pretty. It was handmade from this jewelry store designer place. It's really cute, fits like that. Also just went really well with like the current stack that I have, so. I got some chopsticks, they're red, they have this little flower design at the top. Last thing, I got this from one of those like toy machines where you put the coins in and you turn it and you get a surprise. A little Hello Kitty, and she came in this little strawberry container. Can't wait to put all this stuff away now. I've been keeping it out for like almost two weeks since I got back. Thank you for watching the other vlogs if you've already seen some of this stuff. I tried not to show everything as I was getting it, which was hard because I was excited, but I wanted to leave like some surprise stuff for the haul that you hadn't seen before. Hope you liked it. I'll see you next time. Bye.